Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Corey, and I'm here to talk to you today about Kepler 22b. It's a super Earth, and it's an exoplanet about 600 light years away. And uh, it's what astronomers call the Goldilocks zone. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. And we believe it to be completely covered in liquid water. So basically, it's a giant fun party. Who doesn't love fun water parks? Terrorists, that's who. <laughs> so that's why we're asking for your financial support to build a spacecraft capable of traveling to this planet. Our special guest is going to help us speak with you guys on this topic. Please, Please let's hear from you. Oh, the here it is. will be getting at any moment. Okay, fine, try it now. It's still not working. Optimus, uh, you're not even looking at the screen. That is because I am certain yeah. that it is not yet on the uh, line. Optimus, can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes. Hello, Corey. <laughs> It has been quite some time over there. Yes, it has. It's been quite a while. Uh, we were just talking about, uh, would you like to introduce yourself to the class? Greetings, humans. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> and it is an honor to speak with you today. I apologize that I could not be there in person. But I am certain that they do not allow 30-foot-tall robots on campus. Uh, those are the Optimus. I was just telling about Kepler 22P. Have you been there in your travels? Yes, I have. In our search for the Allspark, we naturally explored the deep oceans of Kepler-22b. So peaceful and majestic, this world. He lied. He ain't never been there. Quiet, Jazz. I'm trying to impress the humans. <coughs> Why are you talking to me anyway? It's for astronomy. Astronomy? Nerds! <laughs> As I was saying, it is a massive planet by your standards. It is approximately 2.4 times the size of your Earth. That's amazing, Optimus. How about the weather? Is it similar to our planet? It is, in fact, very similar to your climate. Due to the lack of rock above sea level, it is completely covered in a vast ocean. Its floor is obviously <coughs> far too deep for any human to ever reach, but that should not stop you from venturing to this world to examine it. I agree, Optimus. There's so much this world can teach us, and I'm sure it has a lot of underwater life that we've never seen before. But uh, I think you have a friend here that's uh, interested in the conversation. Hey, what's up, Brian? How's it going? What's going on? All right, please. This is very important. Yeah, what's that on the screen? Those are humans, Jazz. You have encountered them before. I don't know, Brian. Something's up with these guys. That's smaller than I remember. Ew, look at that one. Where? Let me see. Right, right. I guess, well, I guess that's it. We want to thank the Autobots and Optimus Prime for joining us today. And uh, we thank you for your contributions. We hope to see you on Careful of 22B. Mm -hmm.